Police have arrested the 21-year-old suspect in Serbia's second mass shooting in just as many days. Officials say he killed at least eight people and injured 13 others last night. Serbia's Ministry of the Interior is calling the shooting an act of domestic terrorism. The attack comes a day after a deadly school shooting in the country's capital. Stunning new convictions in connection to the January 6th Capitol attack. A jury found the former leader of the Proud Boys and three more members of that extremist group guilty of seditious conspiracy. Federal prosecutors made the case that they plotted the attack to keep former President Donald Trump in office even after losing the 2020 election. The Bureau of Labor Statistics released the U.S. Monthly Employment Report for April this morning. It shows the economy added 253,000 jobs last month. That was significantly faster than the 165,000 jobs added in March. It's also much higher than economists expected. But there are still concerns that many jobs could be lost in the near future if the debt ceiling drama isn't resolved within the next few weeks. TurboTax will pay $141 million to taxpayers who could have filed for free the payments are part of a 2022 settlement over online ads that sent customers to TurboTax's paid service. Millions of Americans who were charged for tax preparation that should have been free will get settlement checks from TurboTax beginning next week. U.S. stocks fell yesterday. The S&P 500 slipped 0.7%, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average declined almost 1%. It comes as worries about potential bank failures continue. The American Bankers Association now calling in the SEC to investigate short sales of banking stocks and market manipulation on social media. One analytics firm reports short sellers made almost $380 million in paper profits by betting against some regional banks. The White House is continuing to say bank remain strong. Mortgage rates continue to fluctuate. The average for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage is down 0.4% this week after two weeks of increases. That puts it at 6.39%. Freddie Mac's chief economist says spring tends to be the busiest time for the residential housing market and this year is no exception. If it seems like gas prices are dropping, you're right. The national average for a gallon of regular gas has fallen six cents since last week to hit $3.56. That's about 68 cents less than a year ago. AAA also reports the price of oil has dropped nearly $20 a barrel in recent weeks. Here in San Antonio, the average is 303 a gallon. Bear County will have more than 200 voting locations open tomorrow for the joint general special charter and bond election, which will decide the mayor's seat, all 10 city council positions, and Proposition A. Polling locations will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and you can find a list of them on KFIT.com. Voters can show up at any polling place and cast a ballot on election day. They will receive the proper ballot based on the precinct where they live. The coronation of King Charles is tomorrow. It will be the first British coronation in 70 years. King Charles and Queen Camilla will take part in a procession followed by a ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Over 2,000 guests will attend that ceremony and many royal fans have been camping out near Buckingham Palace to secure a good view of the historic event. And that's today's 9 at 9.